like to take note of how we've taken over this entire hotel bathroom because our check-in isn't until three. That's what they get. <laughs> like, hello, we're moving in. We just got to New Orleans. It's freaking freezing. Are my lips blue? <laughs> just kidding, they're great. <laughs> You're dead already. <laughs> so we just had the weirdest cat call experience. Yeah. It was like an anti-cat call. The guy told us that he was proud of us for being strong, brave women in the cold. <laughs> I'm like, you're welcome for wearing a jacket. <laughs> it's cold. Stop. Oh, you're going to post it on Instagram? Okay. <laughs> like, if someone asked why my hair's static. We only get like, like, we only get like 50 bucks. I'll follow y'all. <laughs> so, this is the vegan gumbo for Meals from the Heart. We're going to be on their Insta. That's exciting. Um, yeah, it smells legit. Is it just cars? How do I. Oh, look, a parking lot. So let's address the elephant in the room. We have purple hair. Yes. It's a thing. We went and we got wigs because like what else do you do in New Orleans? That I really don't know. That's drinking. it. <laughs> That's all you do in New Orleans. You get and a you wig, you walk around. At noon. <laughs> yeah, it's like way too early. But yeah, so that's what we did. We couldn't record anything in the wig shop that we were in. Sadly, um, that would have been really fun to show you guys the whole process because we tried on a lot of different wigs. They were really crazy. Um, and this is what we chose. They're different. They're fun. Um, a little out of our price range, <laughs> but they were fun. And we're just going to say that it's a souvenir. It's part of the experience. We went to Fifi Mahoney's. I think that's how you say it in case you guys are wondering. Um, really good experience and I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. You don't have to buy the wigs. You can just try them on. It's awesome. Yeah, it's like a $5 cap fee. You can't take photos, which really stinks and it's probably the reason why we bought wigs so that we can take photos of them. <laughs> or like someone so, has to see this. <laughs> good marketing on their part. Um, but yeah, this is what it is. Tomorrow we'll be in Vegas and we might wear them. It Let will be fun. Back. Also, we might stay in the hotel room because it's so it's cold. It's so cold. <laughs> horribly cold like the girl at the hair salon place that you're at the like wig shop literally told us that she's lived here for six years and it has never been this cold oh and this this is what we're wearing i know i look warm to you guys <laughs> you're not. but it's not enough <laughs> it's not enough sleep last night but we're taking a flight today from from New Orleans to Las Vegas where we have to have more energy so better be warm that's all I have to say we can sleep on this flight because I'm like so tired it's really hard to just function and like do things whenever you're tired too but yeah that's the whole situation last night we just went to the cat's meow and what was it? There was like another place that you really liked, this like daiquiri place, Big Easy's. Um, and then it was a pretty chill night. We really didn't stay out that long. And I'm glad that we went because we almost didn't go. Um, we didn't feel good. So we literally almost stayed in a hotel room all night last night, but I'm glad we didn't. We pushed ourselves. Okay, are we gonna see that? Are we gonna see that? Uh, yes. <laughs> Boy, is here. <laughs> huh? It's weird how many like stars perform here. Yeah, there's, it's just called like, Boys to Men. I know. Hello from Vegas and our um, not so wonderful hotel room. It, we got it for really cheap, so it's like totally worth it. We're um, balling on a budget. We're balling on a budget here. Trying to get tickets for shows. We feel like such adults because we really thought that we could just show up and we'd be on the strip and we could just walk outside of our hotel room and figure out what to do. No, we're not even on the strip. <laughs> There's like the strip and then we're like on the far opposite end. Um, we're at the stratosphere in case y'all are wondering. But um, yeah, so we just are fueling up on some coffee, trying to figure out what show we're gonna see and trying to figure out where to eat so that we can 
afford to eat tomorrow. Shut up. What? Okay, so <laughs> a show ticket convenience fee of fifteen ninety. What? An order processing for two ninety five. So altogether, it's one hundred and thirty eight eighty three. And then. I'm just like, geez, how great is this show? I know. Like, I feel like I'd be probably more excited about Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a title for us when it comes to us traveling, it's like goes to Vegas. No, it's like goes to New Orleans, stays all day in hotel, goes to Vegas, goes to Cheesecake Factory, <laughs> like does so stuff that we could do know, anywhere. Acts like a local all the time. <laughs> we have 20 minutes to get tickets that we already bought and it's an 18 minute drive. Wait, really? Shut up, that's crazy. I read it one time. What was that noise? <laughs> Hi, is this for Alyssa? Uh, yeah, Alyssa. Yes. Uh -huh, I'm Greg. Hi. Hello. Hello. All right, update. Got the tickets. The guy at the counter literally said that it doesn't matter whether you're 30 minutes late, 30 minutes early. You can get the tickets. So we stressed our freaking Lyft driver out. He literally he was, ran through this bougie mall. <laughs> he like took us to valet, like he was so nice. And um, side note, we have had like the nicest people. We've met the nicest people this yeah. trip. I don't know what it is, but it's been amazing. This reminds me of Alamo Cafe though. Like shout out to SA. It's like so cool. This is my favorite one. So you don't need to go to Venice. This is pretty much it.